2023 to 2024, the plan is, and over the course of a year, that's eight let that sink in like let's just sit with that for a moment the possibilities are infinite truly truly endless do i clip it there do i clip it here I clip it behind me? Do I clip it like that? Uh, hey team, welcome back to HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I am a crochet business owner, a mama and a YouTube content creator. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So today I have a, a juicy vlog planned and it's all about September goal setting. Now, I don't know about you, but there's something about September that just means like new year vibes. It might be a throwback to all of those years as a student and the new academic year. It might be something to do with the season change. And most recently it's because all of the activities that Teddy and I do, most of our activities paused over the summer holidays, but now they're back in business. And talking of business, I have a new goal, a new plan, a new strategy. Let's lay it all out and then we can come back in a month's time, three months time, six months time and see exactly where we have got. My goal, I say new goal. My goal has been my goal for the longest time and at a very core simplistic level, it is quite basically to be a stay at home mum and have an income via my crochet. That is the goal. That's been the goal for the longest time. Even before I had Teddy, my son, this was always the goal. I knew in the back of my mind that corporate wasn't gonna support the world that I wanted for my family. It's not gonna support the life, the lifestyle, my values, any of that. And so I ma started making choices and changes so that HDDC would be my income years and years and years ago, even before I started this channel. And it's been a long time in the making, but it has always been the goal. And technically I am living my goal because I am a stay at home mum and I have an income from my crochet. But there's always room for improvement and more. Having lived it now for nearly 15 months, I know what the next steps are for me. I know what will help us out. I don't 100% know how I'm gonna get there, but I know what I want. And that's where my plan comes in. My 2023 plan, my 2023, 2024 plan, we're gonna go with the academic years. So 2023 to 2024, the plan is, to release one collection per year and receive two sales per day for 365 days of the year. That's it, that's the plan. It's super simple, super attainable, and that's likely to be the plan for the next five years as well. But we'll just focus on the one year for now. So let's go into the facts, the stats, how I got here, where I'm going next. The facts and the stacks are quite exciting, not gonna lie, like this, this does it for me and I hope you enjoy going through this with me as well. So I've written down the need to know facts and stacks and so let me give those to you right now. Two sales per day at £25 per sale, the value of my collection is £50 per day. That's £350 per week from just 14 sales. And that's £1,500 per month from just 60 sales. And over the course of a year, that's £18,250 from only 730 sales. Let that sink in. Like, let's just sit with that for a moment. 
that's just from 730 sales. That's it. So simple. At the time of recording this, I have 10,500 Instagram followers. I hit the big 10,000 a couple of weeks ago and it's just been climbing ever since, which is amazing. I've got nearly 5,000 people on my YouTube. Hello everyone. And I have nearly 300 people. No, there's more than that now. I think there's 335 people on my email list. If we just focus on Instagram alone at 10,500 followers, I have here that I have enough to secure 14 years of the plan. There's enough people follow me on Instagram that if 730 people purchased every year, that would do me for 14 years. Teddy would be like nearly 15. So that means once 730 of my amazing followers on Instagram have purchased the collection, I am still going to have over 9,770 people, wow, that can buy the collection. And apparently 730 is just 7% of my following. And yes, I had to Google what percentage is 730 of 10,500 because I wasn't sure how to work that out. We all have our limits. Now, the facts and the stats do not even take into account future growth of my social media. Hopefully, I will continue to grow on Instagram, on YouTube and wherever else I post and I will continue to meet new people and there will be more and more and more followers and subscribers. Hopefully, my email list will also continue to grow and it will go from the 300 and something that it is now to infinity. The facts and the stats also don't take into account that this is likely to be my plan for the next five years, which means I will have five collections to release, which means that there will be even more opportunities for people to buy from HDDC, which means there'll be even more income for me. It means that I could potentially have five collections that have got two sales per day or five collections that have 10 sales per day and that adds up to a whole lot more. The facts and the stats also don't take into account that there isn't any cap so I'm aiming for two sales per day but I'm not going to be like I've had my two sales so I want no more today. Like I could get three, I could get four, I could get five, ten, 25 sales per day and I checked those numbers and just in case you are interested like I am four sales per day at 25 pounds per sale is 1460 sales and that's 36,500 pounds per year if there's 10 sales per day on the one collection at 25 pound per sale that will come in at 3,650 sales per year, which will make an income of 91,250 pounds. And if I was to get 25 sales per day on the one collection at 25 pounds each sale, that's 9,125 sales per year. That's not even the amount of my Instagram following, FYI. And that would come in at 2,000 no, £228,125. grand, And I'd still have Instagram followers left. This doesn't take into account future collections, other income streams such as YouTube, such as my planners, such as the workbooks. Like, honestly, the potential, the possibilities are infinite truly truly endless okay so that's the facts and the stats and hopefully that's got you like riled up just as much as i am obviously i started this youtube channel quite some time ago and as i said like it's always been a goal in my mind that this would be an income stream this is what i want to do and i know that this is what i want to do forever this is not some this is not just something that I do because I have to pay the bills. This is not something that I am doing just so I can make loads of money and then disappear off into the sunset with all of my yarn. Like, 
I'm doing this because I'm building a legacy. I'm doing this because this is what I want to do until I retire, if I ever retire. I'm doing this because it's supporting the lifestyle that I want. I'm doing this for so many good reasons. Now I have a strategy of how I'm gonna get from where I am to where I want to be. My strategy is basically how am I gonna secure two sales per day for 365 days a year and repeat. FYI, the strategy doesn't go into, at this point, launching the collection, because I already did that. Oh, I already did that. But there will be strategy on launching the next collection, because I learned so much from doing this collection. Mm -hmm. In order for my goal, my plan, and my strategy to make sense, let me give you a little bit of context about my life. First of all, about my life and about the amount of time I have to put into HGDC. We all have a set amount of time. I have a very nearly 15 month old baby, toddler, you might say a toddler, he is a baby. <laughs> he is with me pretty much 24 seven, except for when Brad, my husband, takes him out for a few hours, like today, or when Teddy visits my mum, his nanny, on a Thursday for like two to three, anywhere from two to like five hours, could be more, could be less. Teddy co-sleeps with me, he follows me everywhere around the house. I would say 98% of my time goes into Teddy, our home, Brad. And it's going to remain like that until we start some sort of childcare with Teddy, whether that be daycare or some sort of schooling. And either way, all of that is some way in the future. So. I have based, based my plan and my strategy on this. Currently, I have around two to three hours on a Tuesday afternoon that I put into HGDC. I spend anywhere from one to two hours every evening once Teddy is asleep on HGDC. So I'm gonna guesstimate that I probably do that five to six days a week and I probably put in around 10 to 12 hours max in the evenings and sometimes I also get two to three hours on a Thursday when Teddy is with my mum or if not on a Saturday when Brad will give me that time. So sticking to the lower end of a conservative total that gives me 14 hours per week to put into HGDC. It's not a lot. You might have more in which case use it wisely, you might have less in which case I know that feeling, I've also been there. My goal will remain the same. The goal of being a stay-at-home mum with an income from my crochet is going to remain. However, the plan and the strategy will alter so that I can get to that goal. The plan is the plan for now and likely to be for the next five years. I'm gonna implement the strategy and most likely change it after a quarter, if not six months. I'm sticking to at least a quarter because I want to give whatever it is that I try a real good trial and I want to be able to then deep dive into the data and then reassess from there. If I do it for just like 30 days, there's just so many different variables that could have impacted that. So I am committed to at least a quarter. Now, I feel as if I almost that I need to defend my goal and my plans and my strategy because it isn't some huge, a big, fancy goal. Like there isn't any Forbes list type activities. There isn't any overnight success. There isn't any going viral or millions of pounds of revenue goals or selling my company for multiple million pounds and disappearing into the sunset with my yarn. Like. There isn't any of that and I almost fear that I will be laughed at for my goal being so humble or ordinary. Like, what do you mean you just want to make enough to stay at home to be a good mum? Like, what do you mean you just want to make enough to be comfortable and to have the nicer things? Like, when you could have a million billion pounds and take over the world with crochet. But at the same time, is my goal that ordinary? Like, I don't actually think it is. Is it ordinary for a mum to be able to choose, to choose to stay at home with her children, to work from home, to prioritise everything that is at home, like, and everything that comes with it? I haven't met anyone 
where this is their ordinary. So maybe my goal is extraordinary in its own way. And ultimately, I'm not that interested in what other people think because even if I set my goal to have big fancy cars and this, that, the other, I'm not doing it for anybody else's approval. I'm doing what is right for me and my family. Not everyone has to agree with what that is because it's not them that's living it. I do truly, truly believe that if more women were living my goal, if my goal was ordinary, that life would be so, so different and society would be so, so different. And I'm not gonna lie, I have struggled with setting these plans and goals, the strategy, setting it all. I have struggled with feeling inadequate, of feeling like my day-to-day -day existence somehow is like insufficient, not enough. Because I do know there's bigger things within me. I know that my life goals are to author a book, multiple books, to have the massive yarn store. I want my magazine and everything else that I have within my heart. And I have really battled with thoughts like, am I keeping myself small? Am I selling out on my dreams? No. I know that the day-to-day -day things I'm doing now to serve my family and my baby are where the true importance is and that's where the value is. I know that everything else will happen at its own time. I know right now, the season that I am in, I am where I need to be. I'm doing what I need to be, I need to be doing. And that if I did have the big yarn store and all these other obligations, I wouldn't be fully in it because I want to be at home with Teddy. So yes, my goal might seem small and insignificant, but trust me, it's not. It's life-changing. It's huge and it's life-changing. And best of all, it's attainable. It's small enough that it's attainable, you know? So this is me working towards that goal. Want to come with me? Okay, so how am I gonna get there? How am I going to secure two sales per day on my collection so that I have the life of my dreams. With only 14 hours per week, may I add. Well, from now, which is September, until the new year, if not longer, my focus is going to be on a set of mini challenges. These are the three main areas that I am really focusing on so that I can really start to push forward on this. First of all is my email list. It's massive, massive, massive part of this business structure. <sighs> First of all, I am petrified of email. I don't really send them. I haven't sent any of them. And it's something that I want to become more comfortable with. I want to, like I've got so many ideas for my email, but there's a few things holding me back. But imagine, having an email list so big that when I launch a collection, 730 people purchase the collection and there is my year goals. Like, And I'm not here for the overnight success and the big things, but I'm just saying, imagine if I could rely on my email list to get me where I want to be. Like the freedom in that, I wouldn't need to be thinking about social media algorithms and all of the rest of it. Like. I'd be able to reach my people and that's what's important. So that's a huge goal. And alongside that, I have different bits and pieces with email to implement. We can deep dive into that in a whole other vlog. Um, but my main challenge is to send out a newsletter twice a month. And for September, I'm gonna set myself the goal that I send out one and then I'm going to increase it to two in October. I can send one email, okay? I can do that. The second mini challenge is my social media. Basically, I'm putting myself in a discovery mode and the whole point of posting is to be consistently active, to keep showing up and to experiment. I'm gonna just keep putting out reels. So on Instagram, I'm going to do a reel every day on 
YouTube, I'm going to put out a short every day and then I'm also going to do my weekly YouTube vlog. I have set myself the goal that I want to do one vlog every fortnight, but, but it just doesn't seem enough and I just, I want to do one every week and yes, it's a lot of work. So let's see how I get on. At a bare minimum, every fortnight, but I would love to do every week. And realistically, I only need to put out 10 minutes every week. I could even do a YouTube live every week if that's what it takes. And that would be fun as well, wouldn't it? Like, let's make, let's make some granny squares for 10 minutes together. I'd actually really like to do that. The more I post, the more chances there are of people finding me whilst I'm in discovery mode. That's the whole point. Come find me, come find the granny squares that you, you didn't even know you needed these collections and these patterns, but trust me, you do. And it's all about growing my Facebook group, which is all about granny squares. And it's all about just having fun with it. And then I can deep dive into the data after 30 days, after a quarter and see what's working, see what people want to see more of and go from there. Also, I'm just gonna go with whatever is easy, like, I know I want it to look a certain way, but if it's going to be too difficult to attain, I'm not going to do it. So, for example, if I want to put up a like outfit, then just stand in this room and show the outfit. You don't have to have the perfect backdrop and the perfect lighting. Just do the thing. Um, and then the third mini challenge is reviews and this one is like a major biggie they're all big but this one's a biggie 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 my goal is to have a hundred five star reviews on my collection i already have 35 five star reviews on my collection and it's only been out 17 days whoa whoa now once i've reached this goal of a hundred five star reviews i will start experimenting with facebook ads people will see the advert they'll go to my website and the hundred reviews will give them the reassurance that yes my collection is legit and they'll be confident in the patterns that they're receiving a great deal because they are and Hopefully they'll be excited to start all the Granny Square projects. That then means that between the emails, between just having fun on social media and the reviews, which are then leading to the adverts, that I can step back from my business when I need to and know that a sufficient amount of people are still being directed to my website and I'm still then gonna get the two sales per day. So for example, if Teddy isn't very well, if I'm not very well, if I need a mental health break, if we want to go on holiday, if I need to put more time into our home and I need to put crochet to one side. I mean, I never put crochet to one side, but I mean, if I have to put the HDDC side of things to one side, then I can do that without then jeopardizing or what's the word? jeopardizing the income or basically I don't want it to be that I have to be here and performing in order for that income to come in because Brad, Teddy, our home, that's the priority and anything I do with HDDC is a bonus. I don't want it to be stressful, I don't want it to be overwhelming. Now all of this strategy I have got written down in my planner. I sat down and did my September I sat down and did my August review yesterday and then I put down my goals for September. So September I'm aiming for 15 reviews and that will take me up to 50 in total. So that's like one review every second day. Um, then for my social media, I'm gonna do one email, I'm gonna do two YouTube vlogs I'm going to post daily on my Instagram Reels, on my YouTube Shorts and in my Facebook group. I also have coming up collaborations with Hobby Yarn and I have plans for my 2024 collection that I'm working on. 
and then a load of like back office admin stuff as well so i've got all of my goals written down here and i have the vlog ideas i have a little bit of content but i'm not i'm not going to spend ages planning it i'm literally just going to go on find audios and just post it's really nice to have ideas and when i do get ideas i either put them in my planner or on i've got like a huge list in my um google drive so i've got all of that there and then week two i've got all the dates set out and i have my events that i have to do that day and then we're just going to deep dive into 15 reviews okay so how can you get involved um in my goals join the fb group join the iheart granny squares facebook group because that's where all of the granny square magic is happening that's where you will be able to interact with loads of other people that love granny squares and on top of that i'm hoping to get other designers in there and then be able to do giveaways and things like that so come and join and make sure you post all about it so we can get as many granny square lovers in there and how can you help me please 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 go leave a review on my collection or any of my patterns i would love it if you would leave that on my website so that is my september goals my plans my strategies it's attainable right i'm hoping that you've watched this and you thought i could do that because i truly believe that we can like so now I've just got to do it and show you. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Take care.